Hello dear friends. Welcome to another episode of Science for You. Do you know that the ESP32 has an inbuilt hall sensor which can detect magnitude and direction of magnetic field? So, in today's video, I am going to make a magnet detector using the inbuilt hall sensor. It can measure the strength of magnet and also the magnetic pole and will be displayed in the OLED display. The inbuilt LED in the ESP32 will also light up when the magnet is detected. If you like my projects, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for watching more videos in future. Thank you. For assembling the components, I have taken a small cardboard box. First. We have to make small cuts in the box for placing the ESP32 microcontroller in the OLED display. After that, place the microcontroller in the OLED display on the cardboard box. The OLED display can be connected to 3V3 and GND pin of VSP32 for powering it. Connect the 3V3 pin of VSP32 to VCC pin of OLED display and GND pin of VSP32 to GND pin of OLED display. For transmitting data, the ESP32 uses I2C communication. For that, we have to connect SD a pin of OLED display to pin D21 of VSP32 and SCL pin of OLED display to D22 pin of VSP32. Now, for powering the ESP32, we have to connect battery to V and MGND pins. So I have taken a battery pack with two numbers of 3.7 volt 18650 batteries. Take a jumper wire and connect one end to V and MGND pins of ESP32. Connect the positive and negative terminals of battery to the other end of the jumper wire so that positive terminal of battery is connected to V and pin of VSP32 and negative terminal of battery is connected to GND pin of VSP32. The connections are now complete. Now. Open IDE software in PC or laptop. Connect the ESP32 to PC or laptop using USB cable. Go to Tools and select Board as ESP32 Development Module. Change Flash Mode to DIO if QIO does not work for you. Also make sure the correct port is selected. Now click on Upload the Code. The link for downloading code is given in the description box, below the video. After uploading the code, you can see that the OLED display shows the strength of the magnetic field around the inbuilt hall sensor. You can see the values of the magnetic field strength in PC or laptop also, by opening serial monitor in the tools menu. You can see that as the magnet is brought closer to the hall sensor, the value shown in the display changes. Value goes to positive if north pole is brought near the hall sensor and goes to negative if south pole is brought near it. This is seen in the OLED display also. If you want to see the graphical display, you can open Serial Plotter window in the Tools menu. You can see the values changing in graphical form when a magnet is brought closer to the hall sensor. Now I am keeping a group of weak button magnets on the hall sensor. You can see that the pole is detected and magnetic field strength is also displayed. However, the values are lower than that for the first magnet which is much stronger compared to this one. You can see by the attracting force itself that the first magnet was much stronger than the button magnets. 
When I place a single button magnet on the hall sensor, it can be seen from the display that the magnetic field strength is much lower. I also check the sensor with a magnet from a speaker. The hall sensor detects and measured this magnetic field strength also correctly. Hope you all like this project. If you like my projects, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for watching more videos in future. Thank you.